A great morning to you all. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malauzi and I'm your instructor for the hands-on pen testing course. This is module 2.1 of the video course. In this demonstration, I will show you how to scan and enumerate your target. Footprinting is a process that comes before scanning and enumerating. Footprinting is a huge topic and there is a lot of concepts involved. However, I will skip that procedure. Uh, if you need to practice more or to learn more on footprinting, you can do a Google search and learn more. In this particular model, we'll be scanning and enumerating our target. Nmap is one of the powerful network scanners among other network scanners. And I'll be using Nmap to do the scanning. Nmap is pre-installed in Kali Linux or Betrek and other security uh, Linux distros. There are lots of tutorials on Nmap and as I said you can Google search. Nmap can do a lot of stuff. Uh, Nmap can search for live hosts, uh, can search for remote operating system versions. Nmap can also do penacrypy. Nmap can scan for open ports. Nmap can uh, check for versions on the remote services. You can do a stealth scan as well and try to bypass firewalls. Nmap can perform dictionary attacks at some stage. The list goes on and on, on and on. So this is not the complete list. When scanning for a target, um, the easiest way is to scan for live hosts using uh, the uh, Nmap option minus S and then uppercase P. This is basically a ping scan and hosts which are live will respond. Once you, you get a response and then you can do a quick port scan on the target machines that are alive and then you can do a compressive and slow scanning as well to the target machine you can all as well determine the OS version of the target and you can also get the remote service version after that you can as well uh, do a vulnerability scanning once you have all the information, you can perform the actual attack. These seven steps which I've written, they are not the definite guide or the complete guide on how to to, uh, to scan a, a target host or target machine. These are just basic procedures to follow as a beginner. Without wasting time, let's get to GNS3 and start scanning our host. This is my topology and I've got a router that is acting as a DHCP server as well. Uh, three devices are connected to the switch. The CentOS server, a Windows XP, and that's you sitting here as an attacker. Without wasting time, let's get to the attacker machine and start scanning the network to find um, hosts which are alive. Okay, I will log in as root. Okay, on a Kali box, um, I can check my IP address that should have been assigned to the same subnet. So that will be grep it zero. I have an IP and it's a dot 12 so I'm good to go um, I will assume that I do not know the IP addresses of what is connected to, uh, within the same subnet so I will have to add map um, 
known as SP and my subnet is 192.168.1 so if I like to scan the subnet I can do this instead of the slash 24 I can say dot star and start scanning Uh, the dot 12 that is the curly box so i will scan the dot 13 and dot 11 i don't need to scan the root um, at this time so let's scan the dot 11 and dot 13 so that will be n map so i'm doing a port a quick port scan at this moment that will be n map uh, without options just go for the ip addresses so that would be 198.168.1.11 that this is a CentOS server uh, let's see the topology here from the topology I can assume that it's a CentOS server so let's let's now scan the dot 13 Okay, dot 13 is open uh, it's finished so I can see uh, RDP is enabled and we can see that it's a Microsoft uh, operating system so if I want to check the version I can do that with the minus O so that will be N map minus O and the IP address of the target machine okay we can see that the target has been detected as a Windows XP or uh, a server 2003 so this Windows XP is running service pack uh, 2 or 3 so as a matter of fact um, this is how you scan your ticket and the there are lots of options but I cannot cover them all right now but this is a simple scan and you can find your target by first doing a ping scan if you get a response then you do a quick port scan on the on the host and you can do a entire port scan as well which i won't perform right now because it takes time a compressive port scanning takes a while because it will be it will scan all 65,000 ports so I suggest that you find lots of tutorials on the internet uh, get some guides and practice using nmap and please remember that scanning a network that you don't own or without permission can lead you to uh, legal procedures taken against you so please do this um, with permission or on your own network I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.